friends, a very warm welcome to Coding Techniques again. Today we are going to continue with our Mobile Application Series with Episode 5. And in Episode 5, you are going to learn about Ionic Popover Component which will be used for working with the geolocation into our application which will be of Capacitor version 3. So it's going to be pretty interesting video. Watch it till the end. So let's dive into this video right now. So in the previous lecture, you have seen how we have designed the home screen or the app landing screen for our Uber Eats application or the food delivery application, I would say. And today we are going to design the popover. Basically, when your geolocation is not on, then that popover will show up. Otherwise, it's going to take your location directly. That's what we are going to do out here in this particular lecture. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with that. So for doing that up, we need to install geolocation at first and for that I will open up the Google Chrome browser and out here I am going to go to the capacitorgs.com slash docs this will be the URL now, in this URL I'll go to the plugin section to the official plugins now because we already know that geolocation is out here if you do not know then you can go to this particular location as I have shown you now you simply need to install the first one I'll copy it up and in my code out here I'm going to paste it and hit enter. Once that will be done, I'll simply copy this stuff and paste it out there. Now if you're using it for Android or iOS, you need to pass the permissions. Well for iOS, this is the permission that you need to pass and for Android, you need to pass this in your Android manifest. All right, uh, everything is shown out here and also you need to pass the variables also. We will look into it. All right, now this is how we import and use it up. We will see that also because we are going to work with that so the first command is run now i'll run the second command so this is i am running it out all right now you can see the command is done now we're good to use this up so how we can use this up in our home page we need that right so what i'll do let me first create a function called gate current location and out there i'll do everything within a try catch block well the functionality that i showed out there we will be using it out here i'll pass e and console d error if any now in the try block i'm going to pass this code and we'll make it a sync so this is how we use the geolocation that is what is shown out here if you just see this is what i have passed all right and let me just rename it properly current location now it is fine so this is what we are going to use and i'm going to pass it in our ng on it because as soon as the page loads i want it to look for the current location that's what happened in the real application also so now this is declared and let's wait for it to reload and show us the output but before that we will be getting an error because i have not imported it up so i need to import it up and for that i'll just copy this stuff and paste it at the top in the imports out here i'm going to paste it all right now for android and ios we will look into it later on because we are not working with android or ios as of now so let's keep it for the timing because mainly we are going to work with the web browser for this application and if needed you can work with android and ios the permissions that you have to pass it's already available in the in the documentation you can just follow the documentation and do that up all right so everything is ready let's wait for it to run all right now you can see the reloading is done and we are getting an error out here in the console log because the user has not allowed the permission as you can see out here it is not allowed now if i click on it and allow it or you can manage it up also clicking on manage let me open let me keep it as it, as as it is at the time being and what i'll do i'll click on it and allow now if i hit on allow and hit done and reload the page now let's see what happens all right now you can see that we are getting the geolocation properly we are getting the light and long right and it is also coming up but we cannot show it out here we have to show the address and for that we need to use the google maps api to get the address because we need to use the geocoder and that is available on the in the google maps only right so i'll not use it for the time being for the time being let me show it this this way only i'll show you in another video how to append google maps or how to set up google maps and how to work with that in a later class in a later video for the time being let's see how it actually works the popover one now let's see i deny the permission again so for that i'll just scroll down out here let me just maximize it up so that you can see now 
to this particular local host i have given the permission i'll simply delete it now it doesn't have the permission i'll just close this and minimize and now it's in the real size now the permission is denied as you can see out here we have this thing again and out here we okay still have it because i have not reloaded it up so once i reload it up i won't be having the permission now you can see again the permission error is coming up so that's fine now when we are getting an error we need to do some tasks and that's where the popover comes into play so i'll just scroll down quickly now out here i'm going to call a function this dot open popover which we are going to work with in just a moment so open popover so this will be our function and out here at first i'm going to give some animation that should that is like it will be coming from the left side all right Mostly what happens is popover always comes on the right side of the screen and this time I want it on to come from the left side and for that I will create an event. So this is my event where I have passed the target and in the gate bounding client rect which, which is used for the animation part. So I'm passing left to 5 out there all right and once that is done what I'll do I'll simply call another function present popover well these are not predefined functions I am creating it so remember that I'll pass this event out there now we are going to work with this particular present popover function that will hold the event that we are passing all right and within this we are going to work with the popover controller now we are not going to work with the inline popover well if you want to see let me show you up so i'll open any framework docs go to the components now here i'm simply going to search for popover and as you can see it is coming up so i'll click on this iron popover and we are in this particular iron popover and if i click on this popover as you can see it will show up all right as you can see this is coming up right so this is the popover that we are going to design now this is the inline popover which we don't want basically iron popover will be used within the html we are not going to use that up we are going to use the controller for that so i'll click on controller popover and let me scroll down out here all right so these are all the popover options that we can pass we will be working with that right now but i want to show you a few more stuff so this is the inline one which i don't want to use as of now in fact i'm going to use this popover controller let me copy this constructor injector for the controller and let's do it out here in the constructor i'll paste it and import it up now the importing is done as you can see out here right once that is done we are good to use it up so in order to use that up let me simply copy this whole stuff present popover the same function that we have used right and i'm going to paste it out here all right instead of ev you can write even as per your requirement whichever you want you can use that up now popover component well we need to create one we haven't created that as of now and let me name the custom class to be let's say custom popover all right we are going to work with that later on but for the popover well i'll create a component ionic g component within my pages why i'm saying that you must be thinking why we are not doing it out here why not why in the pages well because you can do it out here also there is no harm in that but i want for this application to have this component which are only sharing everywhere which are being shared in many places to keep it out here all right so these are the shared components basically you can keep this one also and use it in the home page doesn't matter so as of now i'm using it in the home page only so i'll be putting it in the home page all right so that i can use it pretty easily and it will not conflict with any other thing no harm again i am saying you can keep it out there also just for the convenience of mine i'm doing it. both ways are fine okay so what i'll do now i'll put it within the pages we have the tabs we have the home within that and within the home only i'm going to have this popover component let's create that up so it will be created within the home folder that's what i need because it's not going to be used anywhere else why to why to keep it in such a place where we are using lot many components why right so this is created now and in order to use that up well let me just hover on it i think i'll get the suggestion let's import it up but i'll also do one more thing in the home module i'll pass it in the declaration so that we can use the ionic modules or components within the popover component also such as ion content ion button anything else so this is turn out here and import it that's great now what i'll do i'll simply go to the popover html because every all the other things are done 
so we need to work with the popover component to design it up so at first i will have ion content where i'll pass color to be dark because i want it to be dark color that is what is present in uber its application now within this ion content i'm going to use ion grid where i'll pass ion no padding because by default it will give a lot of padding i don't want a lot of padding i'll give my own padding out there later on so within this ion grid I will have an ion label to which I'll pass color to be light and I'll pass a label out here device location of all right then after this I will have a p tag and in another paragraph I'm going to have an ion text of color light and I'll give a text enabling your location helps us deliver right at your doorstep so this is the message which I'm going to give to the user so that they can switch on and switch off switch on their geolocation if it is not on all right now after this p tag i'm going to have two buttons and for that i will use iron row and within this iron row i'm going to use an iron column within that i'm going to have an iron button so so this is the button which i'm going to use where size will be small shape will be round expand will be block fill will be outline and color will be light because i'm giving the dark color to the iron content so it will be lighter and to the iron text i'll pass no thanks so this is for the no if uh, the user don't want to allow permission for the geolocation now similarly i'll copy this up and paste it again and this time i'll change the text to enable location all right now let's check it out how it looks like all right as you can see it is coming up it is showing up but it is taking the full column i don't want that so for that what i'll do I'll give you a size out here as this text is small, no thanks. So I'll give size to be five. I want it to be on the same row and the second one to have a size of seven. I think that will be better. All right, now again, it is coming up and you can see it is on the same row, but I need some padding horizontal out here. For that, what I'll do, let me pass a class out here. I am padding horizontal. Let me copy the same and pass it to the P tag also in both the places I need, right? All right, now you can see again it is coming up. Now we have some spacing out here. Now you must be wondering, as earlier it was showing out here, now it is showing out here because the class that I passed, custom popover, actually I defined it in my global.scss, which I just removed. And that is why it was showing up earlier. So let me just have it again. So this was the class actually, which I defined. So custom popover and within that, the popover content, which I'm accessing, where I'm passing the width to be 70% and from the top 8VH. That's what I've defined. And that is why it was coming out at the top part. Now this popover content, well, again, it's going to come up. We need that. So I'll pass it out here. All right. I just forgot to tell you. Now, meanwhile, that is coming up. Let me show you popover content class. So I'll just search for content, popover content. And where is the next one? Or let me search for popover content. Yeah, I'm getting it. So this is the class. As you can see, all the content is placed within this particular element. So this is the direct class which we can implement out here. So that's how we do it. I hope it's clear to you. And now you can see it is coming up out here. That's great. But we need to still design it a bit more. For that, I'll go to the scss let's go out here where is it let's go out here scss and in here i'm going to work with iron grid at first so out here to the iron grid i'm passing padding to be five pixel like i already told you that i'll be giving little padding on my own that is what is done out here now then we will work with the iron label where i'll get font weight to be bold then iron label and iron text will have the same font size 0.9 rem then the button Within that, we have a text. So in the text, I'm going to give font size to be 0.75 REM. That's what we are doing it out here in the HTML. As you can see, we have everything within the iron text, right? So that's what we are doing. Let's check it out how it looks like. All right, now it is coming up and it is looking pretty nice, I would say. Now what we need to do next, basically we need to dismiss this particular popover after a certain time period automatically. For that, what I'll do, I'll go to the component dot ts file of popover and out here in the ng on in it i will create a set timeout within that the first one will be the callback and the second one will be the duration so let me give a duration for i think eight seconds will be better so eight milliseconds eight thousand milliseconds equals to eight seconds and out here i'm going to use 
the callback in this particular manner. Now within this set timeout function in the callback, what am I going to do? I'm going to dismiss the popover. And for that, I have to inject it in the controller. So public or private, you can give popover controller, popover controller. Now let me simply import it out here. So it is imported now and the error will go away. Now I will use this popover controller dot dismiss function. Now within the dismiss, you can also pass some value if you want, you can pass the data, you can pass the role, whichever you like to have. So as of now, I'll keep it as empty and you can get it out there in the controller in the home page. All right, it is reloaded and it is coming up. Let's see whether it gets dismissed or not. So I'll open the console log also. All right, it is dismissed by itself and you can see on the dismiss resolve with role undefined, which is red. Let me show you up in the home page type script. Now out here, you can see this is the one that is reading that up. We can have the data also, data also out here. Let me have the data instead of the role. This one will be data and this will also be data. Now if someone enables it, then what happens? Let's work with the buttons for that. So I'll just work with the popover button. If somebody is saying no, that means I will return false. All right. And if somebody is saying enable location, then I'm going to request the geolocation permission. Let's do that up. So out here, if someone clicks on this button, I will pass a click event. Now on click, what I'll do, we have, I think public out here. Let me just check it out. Yes, we do have it as public. So I'll access this directly into my HTML. That is the benefit of having public. So out here, I'm going to use this dot dismiss and we'll pass true or false out here, actually not true, false. All right. That will be my data. Now similarly, if someone enables it, then I'm going to pass true out here in this particular manner. Now let's check it out. What value do we get if we click on that particular button? We'll check it out here. Out here we are going to get it. So let me not pass uh, this particular object. Let me call this thing up directly. Let's see what value do we get out here instead of the object. What's wrong? All right, now it is coming up. Let me click on enable location and this is dismissed. Now I'll check it in the console log. What do I get? Okay, I get actually an object and that object has having a data, which is true. All right. This for dismissing, we are getting that error, not a problem because that is an overlay issue that is ignorable. So I'll keep it as it was earlier in this particular manner. The spaces value if you don't give also that is just for styling. I like that actually. And out here if data question mark dot data, I'll check it out. Or in fact, I'll check if data and if data, then I'm going to check another condition. If data dot data is not set, that means if it is false, I'll give this not out here. If it is false, that means we need to pass some default location or we need to prompt the user again to give their location. Both ways are possible, whichever you like to have. Let me give some default location to be say curl bug, any location, but you need to pass the latitude and longitude also for that. For the time being, I'm just doing it just to have some different text. Otherwise, what I'll do, I need to request the permission again, right? So I'll use geolocation dot, or let me do one thing. Let me call a function out here. I think that will be much appropriate thing to do this dot request geolocation permission all right so this function i'm going to just create it right now now i'll pass a sync out here and within this function well everything will be done within try catch block because we are dealing with geolocation stuff so we might encounter an error out here all right this is fine then out here what i'll do i'll use await this dot geolocation dot it's sorry it won't be this because we can directly use the geolocation right dot request as you can see all the function suggestion is coming up request permissions that's what i'm going to call out here and this will return permission status okay you can check the official documentation to understand that so I'll just get permission or in fact directly status actually and let's see what value do we get within this status so I have console it up and once we get the status we will check whether it is granted or not if it is granted then we will directly call the function all right now it has opened up and if I click on no thanks at first I'm getting false out here okay directly the value is showing as false and this location is not changing let me just see it once all right this is actually an object and within that we have the data so I can directly access it out here. So if data, then I need to use this function. Otherwise, I'll set this up. 
all right that's what i'll do but that will occur for all the locations well that is also fine because if somebody is not somebody means the location is getting dismissed then also i want the default location to show up otherwise some action should be taken that is also fine so let me do that up because by default also if it gets dismissed then it should come up so this will be my default location if there is no location permission that is allowed all right i think that is fine all right now you can see again it is coming out i'll click on no thanks this time and you can see the location has changed all right if you want you can just check for the condition equals to equals to false out here if you want to access the false one also now what i'll do i'll reload it again and this time i'll click on enable location so let's click on enable location this time and i've clicked all right not implement it on web okay actually this is only for android most probably let's check it out in the documentation i thought it might work but that is not working nowhere it is written that this is for android but i'm not sure about it anyways that's not going to work out here maybe for android and ios it's going to work bad luck for us so we cannot see uh whether that works or not but we do know that popover will not show if we have location enabled right we will check that in android later on but for the timing we have implemented it up right correct so our popover is nicely working now let's quickly implement it for the android one also so what i'll do i'll stop my ionic serve and out here i'm going to add the platform for android so ionic cap add android and hit enter but meanwhile let me just stop that i have to check my configuration so actually this was an earlier project that is why which we upgraded so that is why we have any capacitor.config.json you might be having capacitor.config.ts file if you are creating a new project and doing it out there so don't need to worry everything is same just this particular code is not there but other things are pretty same so you just have to change this package name out there that's a better stuff and how to change this package name well your domain name should come domain name let's say domain name to be techniques.com for example and after that the third one will be the name of the application in this particular manner let's say uh, over its app you cannot give hyphen or anything out there and uh, you need to write it in reverse order like this was ionic.io and then starter was the name of the application or package name whatever they have given it they have made it up it's not necessary that you need to give the same name of the app name you can give any other name also if you want but that should be unique and that is why this app id should be unique in this particular manner because your domain name you only have it right so com.technics. i'll just type this uber it's app out here fine and i'm going to remove this because it's going to give unnecessary errors which i don't want and let me give the app name to be what I, what we are given maja it's right so maja it's i think that will be fine and out here i've given uber it's app or maja it's app let's see that will be better maja it's app that's fine now i'll create the android platform and out there also the same package name and id will be there so i don't have to change it anywhere else if needed and if you still want to change it out there if you have done it then you can simply go to android manifest and change it out there there is a proper procedure in the configuration for android how to do that up if you are still confused you can just do master search out here you can just type io.ionic.starter and then replace it with the latest package id that you have along with same thing with the app name also you can just check everything out here and then you can do that up that will be a better way to do it if you don't want to do a lot of tasks all right the platform is added now as you can see this folder is created if you are doing it for ios you have to do it in the same manner the next thing that i'm going to do is well i'm going to pass the permissions that is present in the geolocation for the android one if you are doing it for the ios you can just pass this in info.plist file or you can do it from the xcode also i've shown all these things in my ionic course you can just have that if you haven't enrolled in that so everything is upgraded to ionic 6 firebase 9 and it's pretty good actually so you can have that up if you want meanwhile let me i've copied it up and i'll go to android manifest and i'm using control plus p to open that thing up all right if i type it again control plus p it is opened up that's how you do it if i forgot if you don't know about it i have told you all right now in here i'll just scroll down to the bottom out here the permission section is there and in here i'm simply going to paste all these permissions and align it properly now it is fine once that is done one more thing to do we have to copy this play service location version and have it in our variables.gradle file which is present in the 
app one let's check it out so i'll just scroll i'll just go to the android app within the app within the app we have there is only one variable dot gradle so this is the one fine out here i'm going to paste it which will be equals to and the version that we need to pass is 17.1.0 let me copy it up and i'll paste it within the string as a string out here that's fine so everything is done now we are good to run this in our android studio because i'll be running it from there only or we can run live reload also that is i think a better stuff to work with so in order to run the live reload i have connected my device real device and i have switched on the usb debugging if you do not know how to switch on the usb debugging well there is a complete guide on any framework documentation in the development i think developing for android section out there you will have some links where you can uh, check for the usb debugging so you have to go to the uh, and i think uh, out here let me just show you if you have any confusion so out here developing for android click on it and if you just scroll down this is how you need to install android studio everything is given in details what you need to do exactly all right this is how you set up the android device for the usb debugging this is the one and this is the documentation that is available this is the link you can click on that and check it out how to enable it now let's go to our application and run it out here ionic cap run android dash l that is for live reload and dash dash external i'll be used to run it with proper ip address and everything so it's going to detect automatically let me hit enter and meanwhile this is running well i have not closed this up it will look nice so that you can have this look for the time being as it is running now i have stopped the live reload as it was taking long time to respond so i will run another command at first ionic c ionic cap copy android basically it's going to copy and sync everything for our android project and then we are going to run that up all right now this command is successfully run now what i'll do instead of the live reload well this will take a lot of time to run live reload better like i will open this uh, project in android studio directly and run it from there in your case if you want to run live reload well the command i have already shown you you can run that up and if there is any other error you are facing let me know in the comment section all right now you can see our project is running in our android studio and now the device is also showing up so i'll just hit on this run button and let's see what happens it's it's going to take a little bit of time to run all the things up so let's wait for a while all right the app is running in my phone right now let me show you up how it looks like so out here i'm going to type chrome colon slash slash inspect to check our real device data what we are getting out there and the display also so this is a chrome feature you cannot access it in other browsers all right this is showing my application right now i'll hit on inspect and maximize it up all right i'll hit on skip and we are into the login what was the credentials i forgot actually but let me try it out all right now i'm logged in and it is asking me permission whether i should allow it or not the permission so let me hit deny while using the app only this time deny let me hit on deny let's see what happens and you can see the popover is coming up right and if i click on enable location again i'm getting the permission now if i select while using the application let me just click on it let's see what happens all right i do get out here course location granted and location also granted so i'll just check this location i think that will be better because course location is something different uh, which you can look into on the internet well i'm not so not sure about it so let's access the location if it is granted then we will work on it now in my code what am i going to do out here i know that within this status i will have something on location so i'll give question mark just to be on the safe side so if location equals to equals to granted now if the string equals to equals to granted that means we have the permission otherwise we don't have the permission so if it is granted then i'll simply call this dot gate geolocation or gate current location actually not geolocation gate current location function all right otherwise if it is not granted that means we are having means the deny one right so i'll just simply copy this up and paste it out here that's it all right now in the gate current location also in order to track whether we have got the location or not we will check it in the console log so it's fine you can work on it later on if you need to 
check some tricky things out there we will check it to worry about it so now i think everything is fine out here and uh, i'll do one more thing so now everything is ready let me sync the project now so i need cap sync android for syncing you can use copy android also as per your requirement both are similar copy will do all the stuffs that is better so this command is running now let's run the other command open this up in android studio all right let's wait for it to open it up all right this is running in my android studio as of now and i have clicked on the run button let's wait for it to finish all right now my app is running in my system in my real device now i have i'll click on this inspect again let's see this time whether we get things working properly or not as expected so out here i have disabled the location again now let me open this up again i'll just close it and run this project again i'll have to inspect again for that all right it is showing up i'll click on enable for the time being. Now let's see what happened out here i clicked on enable location but what sort of error am i getting out here location disabled all right so when i'm requesting for the location all right actually the location is disabled but the permission is already given and that is why it is showing in this particular manner now if i just enable the location because the app was already running so we don't need that permission right now now what i'll do i'll go to the settings because we are just playing with the permission if you want to enable this up you have to run some other command for enabling the geolocation i think location accuracy should be used for doing that up if you want that to be done let me know in the comment section i will make a separate video on that all right all right now i have denied the location by going to the settings and let's check it again so i'll close this application and run it up again let's see what happens this time while check this one also all right i have opened the application i'm getting the enable location one i'll click on it all right again it is opening the enable location again and again because the location is off so if you deny the permission well you cannot give directly you have to do it uh, by going to the settings again but we can redirect to the settings by using the location accu accuracy or diagnostic plugin so as of now our permission is done we have now the permission we have the location everything is working fine now let's simply check this application again whether do we get the geolocation or not out there so for that i'll run the application again all right it is opened up now i'll inspect it up and you can see out here we i think have got the geolocation let me just scroll up out here you can see let and long is shown out here right so we are getting the data of geolocation i've cleared it so it is working so we have successfully built our application with the ionic popover and also we have seen how to implement geolocation of capacitor version 3 very nicely in our, into our application we, we have seen how to request the permission if it is not given well few more stuffs can be done out here if you want that you just let me know in the comment section and i'll do it for you such as the location permission to enable the location if it is not on we can do that also we can trick that and all the other stuffs if needed well you want to redirect to the settings of the location that also can be done all these things can be handled now and also if if you want to learn how to set up google maps api let me know in the comment section if you want to know how to use the native geocoder let me know in the comment section i'll use that up to get the address from latitude and longitude so all these things can be done just let me know in the comment section all right and if you like this video Please share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that and do hit the like button. That will boost my morale to make such interesting videos for you. Alright. And one well, last thing, if you haven't taken my course yet, which is on Ionic 5 Plus and it is upgraded to Ionic 6 and Firebase latest version where I'm building the whole full delivery application with Firebase. So you can just check that out if you want to. So with that being said, see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you very much for watching this video.